I want to have a conversation that I had with you, kind of like I had with you two years ago when I told you I was moving from um, New York City to Texas. And I told you that I had written my kids a note. And I read it on the air. Um, I'm not going to write uh, or read the note that I wrote to my kids. And um, I probably will do, be doing less of that on things like this um, in the future. And in the next two minutes, you'll understand why. But I um, advised my kids to please consider, they're adults, they make their own decision, to have 30 days of cash on hand for whatever they think they would need in an emergency. In New York City, if you're living in New York City, what do you need to be able to get out of there? God forbid another September 11th happened. What, how, what would you need to get out of the city? What would you need to be able to get across the country? What do you need for food, gas, to pay rent? You have no debit card. You have nothing. No cash machine works for, in this case, a week. I believe you need enough for a month. This is yet another warning sign. It will happen here. If the ATM would go down in your city or in our country and the banks had to close because of an emergency, will you be prepared? It has happened before. It happened the last time the progressives tried a utopia. The latest word is now that the banks in uh, Cyprus are going to be closed until at least Thursday or perhaps until the vote passes. So in other words, we're fine. You don't want to pass this. You don't want to do that. That's fine. Banks are closed. Fortunately for the government, you need special authorization to own a handgun. So in Cyprus, there's nobody to stand in their way. Put that money aside. Put the money aside. But please do not tell anyone you're doing it. I am telling you, and this will be one of the last programs where I tell you things that I am doing, because you are going to become more and more of a target. And I mean that even with your relatives um, who call you a joke now, they will come. Drowning people pull others under the water. I wouldn't tell anyone outside of your closest circle. I wouldn't, no, let me change that. I wouldn't tell anyone who isn't doing it already. I wouldn't tell anyone except your close family members, and I mean immediate family, your children. The last thing you want to be known as is someone with cash on hand when all of the banks are closed. The world will change, and this will come to America. And here's the interesting thing. As you become poorer because your currency is being devalued by the central bank, the Federal Reserve, the federal government, and all those people that you have no power over, as they bail each other out, and as you become poorer, and you have no way to defend yourself in the streets from those who are thieves or are hungry because you no longer have a weapon, as you have no way to defend yourself against the progressives in the government, the billionaires, or the thieves. <laughs> How do you, what do you have? You, if, you might as well have your money on a roulette wheel right now if it's in the stock market. Because who do you think is getting rich? You? You may have your savings in a mutual fund right now in a 401k stock market. Why? Well, it's doing so well, and everybody in the press says it's doing well. Oh, yeah. Did you know that George Soros and Warren Buffett, well, George Soros, who's made a billion dollars in uh, since just November by trading in currencies, do you know that he's taken all of his money? Warren Buffett has done the same. Several billionaires have taken all of their money out of U.S. stocks. Why? because they're always a step ahead of the average schlub investor. They've gamed the system to take as much money of yours as possible. That's the game. 
They come in by low. It starts to go up. Everybody says, it's going, oh, look at this, it's great. They suck your money in through your 401ks and mutual funds, and then they take theirs out. And while the media is saying, it's going to go on forever, it crashes. You're the one who will end up footing the bill for all of the people that didn't play by the rule. And if your money is still in the market, good luck. If you trust the global banks, if you trust the Federal Reserve and the world's politicians and the IMF and your president and your own party, maybe this, uh, this week you should just ask yourself this one question. Am I that big of a sucker?